hi and welcome back to the channel if you're new welcome so today i'm giving you a tour of my la casa <laughs> my pride and joy my first apartment hey forever be here even if i go live in a mansion in malibu <laughs> i'll still remember this house okay i'll still remember this house i want to start something highlighting comments of the week comments that made me laugh or comments that hit a nerve hit a nerve comment of the week goes to kissing a kiss i don't know if that is how your name is pronounced if it's not i'm sorry <laughs> um you said a oh, crazy girl can i adopt you as a sister oh <laughs> so if you want to be comment of the week next week If you want to be comment of the week next week, just comment down below, subscribe, and let's get on to this video. So this is the front door, and notice how I have hanged my curtain. It's because I don't have those rods up there. I only have that piece of wood, so the curtain had to fall like that. Initially, I'd put a rope all the way and then i had hung my uh, my curtain but when i was opening the door every time i think it was pulling on this side so i always used to find my curtain on the floor and i said no more i have to get creative there was an opening on the metal thing on the door over there uh, i just hung my curtain that way and it does the job it's just only to cover that place so that people don't creep in and look in next we have an umbrella i always hang my umbrella there so that when it's raining and I'm dashing out, I can see it and grab it instead of it being in a bag somewhere and me forgetting and then me getting out and then me being like, do I go back for the umbrella? No, I can brave the rain. That is where I put my shoes because I don't have a shoe rack. <laughs> uh, plot twist, I do have a shoe rack in this house, but I use it for a very different reason and you will see. Stay tuned. Walking from the shoe. So I quickly wanted to hop on here and explain the yellow stains you can see on the floor. <laughs> See, it's Joshua Nyumba. <laughs> um, it's paint clearly. Bob, the painter, <laughs> did not cover the floor when he was painting the the room, so there are droplets of the paint, especially along the walls. But I'm trying to look for solutions. Maybe buy turpentine or something so that I can just scrub off the paint on the floor. Uh, yeah, but I had to make that clear. So get back to the video. To to this corner, we have tripod obviously youtube alive we have this full length mirror we have a very big window which lets in light i love the lighting in this house that is where i put my bag and my stool uh this is a bed sitter you don't have space to buy a six six chair person sitting arrangement furniture um <laughs> so you have to work with what you have uh and um, i'm working with this uh, i have a stool and i have a chair that i'll show you in a minute um yeah and then this one is a bag that i bought recently fun fact it's a tactical bag meaning the people who buy this kind of bag actually use it to store guns i didn't know this until i googled uh there's a brand tag and then we go up to my most prized possession i think i made that i made this shelf myself i made this shelf hey that rhymes i made this shelf myself <laughs> i just had to these two planks of wood and then i bought this twine rope and then i went to the carpenter i was like drill four holes in each and every plank run your rope through the the drilled holes evenly tight off at the bottom like i did and there you have it you have your shelf and on top of my shelf i have my dolls i have this bottle that i showed in my last video where i have this singular flower i have my university degree over there five years of my life dedicated to earning that degree so you best believe it's going to be displayed for the whole world to see uh, and then i have those two kenyan shield maasai things my friend gave to me and now we go to the main event we have my bed i'm proud of this bed it looks so pretty the headboard oh yeah yeah i cannot the key to a good looking bed in my opinion i mean it's opinions yeah so the key to a good bed is pillows 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 <laughs> and the duvet the duvet and the pillows have to i don't know the, the ambatane you know then uh, a throw blanket <laughs> 
I looked for this blanket, yo. I went to every market, I went to every thrift, whatever, looking for such a blanket, and I got it in Kidurai. Yes, yes, my people, where you at? I have a set of four pillows. Yo, if you've been following me for a while, you have seen this pillow somewhere. You have seen this pillow somewhere in my hostel videos. They match, and then I had, I did that arrangement so that it looks good. And then this is my bathroom, by the way. I couldn't find anywhere to place it because it's too big, too thick. So I decided to be rolling it up to look like a rolled up pillow you know sitting in front of my pillows and yeah this duvet i bought it in a new key my mother helped me buy this duvet it goes well with these pillows because we have the green and then there's the green in the pillows the pillows the good green and then we have the yellows we have the yellows on the pillow initially i wanted a gray and green theme for my bed but that wasn't the case you go with the flow then we go to the sitting area this has been seen in my living alone vlogs but it, that is where i shoot from we have a gray carpet i love gray i think it goes with everything you can have green green <laughs> you can have gray as the main color of something and then you have pop of colors like you have a gray themed room but then you have pop colors of maybe gray and yellow gray and green gray and something else gray and something else you get the gist okay so I have my gray carpet choose gray carpet by the way one thing that i don't like is my floors are not tiled but we can survive we don't live on floors hey we don't live on floors and i have this to wear my fluffy shoes so the one thing i don't like is when they were painting this room they poured paint you can see like dots of paint on my floor i decided to just like look for turpentine because I, that, that is what i know <laughs> turpentine removes uh, paint but i've never gotten around to do it so when i do it i think i'll update you guys it's everywhere by the way it's everywhere it's everywhere so we're gonna do that so we have pure red floor the gray carpet and then we have that basket so the use of that basket initially was to put a throw blanket this is a picture of what i wanted i've now gotten around to buying another throw blanket so it has some random things some random things so this is where i put my air freshener my uh, keys and a tripod and some hair bands a lot of things i had to sit down for this because <laughs> Please explain to me why this smells so good, so fantastic, so fabulous, so elegant, so it smelled good. Out of every single one that I sniffed, this one appealed to me. Now that I'm spraying it in my house, to me it smells like fermented tree. <laughs> wild musk, wild musk. Uh, you're not the scent for me. I'm sorry. Next time we'll just try the fruits one. I think everything fruit smells nice. But tropical, your girl. Your girl likes you. Your girl likes you. So uh, do some. <laughs> do something. Sponsor girl. Can do one of your commercials too. Ah, away from the land. We have this table that you all have seen a couple of times. And on it we have my water bottle. These are the MVTs. The most valuable things when you're going out. So I have tropical hand sanitizer and then i have a mask i don't know if this is the best mask to use but it's the one i use anyway we got some flowers don't ask how you're not ready <laughs> we have my bibles and then we have a laptop sleeve just sitting there and then we have the chair so in a bed sitter there's limited space limited space so i'd advise you go for light furniture one that doesn't take up a lot of space and i knew i wanted something to sit on but i didn't want a bulk chair because it would derive me of working space i decided to go for this makuti chair that is how it looks like i want to decorate it using a throw blanket like that one but i haven't gotten around to buying one so this shuka will have to do and my neck a pillow is also there and the laptop and my phone and it's actually very comfortable and obviously we went with a great seat cover so that it ties in with the carpet yeah have you noticed have you noticed my bed is dark stained i requ i requested this to be dark stained and this also my coffee table is dark stained so my house doesn't have a closet so we also have to get creative with how we store our clothes so I bought this this coffee it's it's not only a coffee table but a storage space 
so that's where i put my clothes and most of my clothes fit in this thing i kid you not they're very wide and deep so a lot of clothes fit in you can buy such furniture be purposeful and decorative at the same time i think colors colors are very important you need cohesive things in in your in your place so my theme was gray dark stained green yellow whatever the only thing that is out of place is that mirror i don't know it was the only one in the supermarket i had to buy it if i can find a way to just stain it dark that would be swell that would be swell oh, that is the room <laughs> by the way we have window one window two this might be window three but yeah that is the whole room in alasha that's my bathroom match going to the bathroom and toilet we'll get to that in a while uh, but that is it bureau bureau um. We have the switch for the kitchen and whatever the thing that i saw and i was like this is it was the kitchen was the kitchen and let me take you in there so that you see what is going on an overview of the whole place before we dive right in so the first thing i had made and brought to this house because i you best believe i carried that thing to this house was this table mm, notice the gray notice the gray we have a thing in this house i told the carpenter i want somewhere to place my cooker and as you have seen we don't have cabinets and counter space and whatever space we have we have to make space have some glasses and have some cookery and whatever and my gas just sitting right there but i don't see such cookers being made these days with this grill thing fish grill or something but, but if you have seen it you, you just tell me you just holler you just tell me girl you're wrong you're mistaken <laughs> but this cooker was graciously given to me by my cousin i think it's a family heirloom or something <laughs> when we come here we have my cup holder with my six cups and then we have my jug for boiling water that is my cooking station I don't know if this is cringy or something i apologize if this is triggering you or something but i literally have nowhere else to place my potatoes and my eggs and since they are dry food i saw no harm in placing them on the floor until i get something to place them on so i apologize in advance if this triggers some people i'm sorry we have no otherwise we have no choice yes next is the sink and my bottle which i'm supposed to be filling with boiled drinking water but that has never happened and then we come to those sink lost sink the pride and joy of my kitchen area is this area here my obviously we have my cleaning whatever nuru i use nuru for anyone wanting to know what i use and then we have a very beat up washing sponge that needs to be replaced and then we have this huh I usually look at this and feel good about myself. Actually, this is not supposed to work for us. This one stays over here. The coffee is at the back, then the cocoa is here. Yeah, that's how I arrange it. That's how I arrange it. We have my chapati bag that I've never used. <laughs> I use it as, as my spices stand. When we hit 3000 subscribers, we, which we are about to do soon, I'll do a special video where i cook chapati on my own that will be the 3000 subscriber video <laughs> so subscribe subscribe down below we have my spices which are labeled and then we have sugar cocoa we have coffee we have beans then we have rice and then we have spaghetti yeah so this i think this, this is my pride and joy this is my pride like look at how aesthetically pleasing it looks I would want to add more, uh, but for now this stays as it is. When I'm buying things, I always look for two things. Is it functionable? Obviously, yes. Will it be decorative in a way? Yes or no? So like this spice jars, they're very pretty. I like the yellow color. I like the glass jars. You know, glass everything just looks nice from afar, from close by. So they have function, but also they are very decorative. Its function is to hold 
my cups while also displaying them in a beautiful way function and beauty we have my pan just hang there if you don't have storage space create your own space i've hanged all my uh my spoons or whatever the spatula the spoon the spoon the chips spoon <laughs> great um then i've had my sufferias i only have four sufferias in this house i have the three aluminium ones and then we have this non-stick pot at the very bottom it is big my gosh um, yeah to all of my guests we have a sufferia ready for you to cook a hefty meal i'd have to say i do say so myself okay and we have one lid i don't know where the rest of my lids went can someone comment down and tell me where did my lids go where did my lids go uh yeah and then we come to the shoe rack the shoe rack which i told you i'll tell you how i use it is this one so this is a story i had gone to the supermarket to buy those plastic shelves you know those ones that are in layers and then you join the layers and then they become big and whatnot i had picked i had i was looking for a gray one i didn't find one so i decided to go with an off yellow one which i also didn't like because well this is this is darkish yellow and then this is a little yellow so i really wanted yellow not off yellow um is it off yellow a color <laughs> I didn't like it but I just took it because I was desperate and then I went to the cashier to pay. When I was paying, I glanced back and see this shoe rack. I didn't even know it was a shoe rack. I did not, I kid you not, I did not know it was a shoe rack. So I was like, wait, wait, I take the plastic one back. I go to this one, I was like, oh, the price is not bad. I took it, I went to pay, got home, and then I was removing the sticker so that I start putting my things on guess what i saw that it is a shoe rack shoe rack but anyway in my eyes it has never looked like a shoe rack but a shelf and that is what i use it for so i have all my food stuff in short it's like my pantry so i have all my food stuff i have plates i have some some mugs i have some rice i have some unga this is a dry unga but we have milk and biscuit <laughs> the most random of things and then we have sugar and then we have tea and I always have to have buns in the morning to eat for breakfast. Guys, I never thought I would be one of those people who has Sahani Zawageni. I have mind, do you really need 12 plates? No. <laughs> no, but I bought those anticipating that one day I'll have guests in my house. So, guests, again, where are you? Where are you? We have your plates. We have your plates. Initially, I had those white plates, but they're not big enough. So, I bought those platters. They're Diwali plates. When I was buying, I saw Diwali plates, and that these are bowls that I eat from a lot. That's why it's on top of the other plates. But yeah, it's a close-up of everything. I only have one mwiko, one knife, one fork, two spoons, one sieve, one one thing. I have twelve plates, but I only have one spoon. The irony in that. Uh, here's an overview. Yeah. If you're struggling with space, get yourself a shurak and fix that problem in this corner is where i have my dustbin my broom and then my big mop this area this area is reserved for my fridge a fridge is coming i speak manifestation i speak refrigerator i speak blessings upon this space i speak i speak and when i have a refrigerator i can be buying milk in bulk and storing it there and if I can buy milk in bulk and store it there, I can have a kitten. I can adopt a cat. I'm a cat lady. So me. And then here we have a tile for drying the utensils when I wash them. Notice that my sink is clean. So that comes in handy a lot. And then we have my door. That's the kitchen, y'all. And we come out of the kitchen. Back to the living room. And then out of the living room, we come to the bathroom. And here's my bathroom slash toilet. Boom. We have my face towel, the towel that I use to dry my face. You should never dry your face with the towel that you dry your body with. That is skin care 101. So I have it there, just hanging there. I have my tissue paper over there. I have the brush that cleans my toilet. I have my toilet over there. Every tea of this room. <laughs> 
and then you have my bucket my basin from my college days hello they're still here and then we have my shampoo and my conditioner and everything i use on my hair uh, and my soap everything it's there again i can only i can only place them there because my bathroom still doesn't have cabinets and whatever so we have to get creative with what we do but yeah hi hi Out of every brain freeze. <laughs> but now that I'm but now that I'm spraying on you. Wow. <laughs> so many takes. 